What's up, it's your boy Tony, the one and only, the comedian. I'm here with Ashley Tiani, the Black Veil. Check out her video blog here. I'm only about to do an interview. Tiani, the Black Bell, and with me today is my new friend, Tony Fant. How are you today? I'm great. I'm good. And you said my name right. That's hey! Right. hey, hey. Oh, so where did you grow up, and what inspired you to be a comedian? Uh, well, I grew up in Detroit, and then when I stopped playing football, because I messed up my Achilles tendon, then I became a comic. Well, then I became a radio dude, then I became a comic. Okay, so wait, what made that transition from playing sports and then to radio and to comedy? Um, I was in college. Okay. I used to play ball. Okay. And then uh, I messed up my Achilles tendon. Um, sophomore, going into junior year, and mm -hmm. I don't know, it was my whole life playing football. So it was it was strange not having football to do anymore. So yeah, I needed some hobby, and I felt like I had a good voice, a deep radio voice. So I did right. that, but that shit was boring. <laughs> um, it wasn't like I thought it was gonna be, so I stopped. And then I just one of my homies told me to try comedy. And at first, that shit tanked many times, but I stayed with it, and then I've gotten better. Not the best, but I've gotten better. Right. So what kept you going? What made you keep going back to comedy and trying to pursue your dream with comedy? Um, it was fun to see people laugh. Like, getting validation that I was funny was yeah. hype, so I just kept doing that. Do you um, have a joke that everybody <clears throat> kind of say to find funny? Are you not familiar with the song Gold Diggers by Kanye? Yeah. All right, so if you know the song, please sing along. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no bro. <laughs> It was fun though. That's a funny joke. I feel like it's very complex. Yeah. How did you come up with that joke, Gordon? Uh, I was at Harper's. Okay. And they played a the song there a lot. Right. No, I was at Rick's. I was at Rick's. Okay. And they played the song. I wonder like, if they were going to say the N word. And they did. So I told the DJ to pause it. Oh when the N word coming, they all said it. I said, yes, yes. <laughs> he said, you got one. Yeah, I got me a joke. And then it just happens. It's funny. Do you have a joke that. Somebody else has said that you always find funny, like one of your favorite jokes to hear. Uh, Dave Chappelle is my favorite comic, and he has a joke about um, the cops not thinking he lived in this house. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be his, it was too good for him. Okay. So they came in his house and they hit him over the head with a baton and shit and knocked him out. And it was, I saw this back, back when I was a rookie, Johnson. A rookie, Johnson? He said, he hung up pictures of himself everywhere. Some shit, it was funny. <laughs> I'm fucking funny at least. <laughs> I didn't tell it right, but that's my favorite thing she's been through. That's funny. So, as a young black man in society in college, or after you know graduating, what steps did you take to make sure that you were keeping your dreams afloat and you were heading in the right direction that you wanted to go in? Um, I had to think. Um, no, like really think at what I really want to do. I didn't yeah. want to be like a zombie. Right. I had to focus on and be serious about what I really wanted to pursue. Because I had to work in 9 to 5 yeah. until comedy pop off, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I still wanted to have like a life outside of work. Um, so other than that, just planning, planning that and taking it serious, mm -hmm. you know, researching stuff on how I can, you know, uplift myself and, you know, have the good positive spirits when I go to work. Right. Um, I researched a lot of topics that you know give me a lot of foundation to keep going, like the law of attraction. Oh my god! Like the law of attraction is. A big what made you just think you like? Oh yeah, let me type up law of attraction. It really wasn't that. Like my senior year, I was like in some like really bad depression. Oh. Um, so uh, I went. Uh, I I was isolated often, okay. and I had to like reevaluate my life and how I saw things. Okay. Um, and I just. A friend that told me to read a book about it, and I read a book. I watched a video, a couple of videos. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty neat. I wish I knew that growing up as a kid. Okay. Um, well, I just started focusing stuff on like on that, and then you know getting to know who I was. I feel like I didn't know who I was as a 21 year old. So what what was the depression and isolation about, or did it just kind of happen? Or? It was um, with football, um, like 
relationships. Uh, my grades were terrible. <laughs> and they were terrible. Were you on uh, probation? No, I never. No, I wasn't that bad. Okay. I was okay. That bad. I was, I was, just <laughs> I was never that bad. I was <laughs> always missed the mark on probation, but um, stuff like that, like identity crisis. A lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. have that problem in college, but they don't ever have anybody to talk to. Right. Uh, so I was one of them, but I just had to look up some stuff, and I wasn't comfortable discussing that with people. Right. More so until I found out how I felt about myself. Okay. So do you have that main person that you always? went to when you had an issue or a problem, what you felt more comfortable? Uh, I talked to my, one of my friends, yeah, one of my boys, Anthony. Um, he didn't get it all the time because uh, a lot of my beliefs change, uh, how I felt about myself change. Mm -hmm. uh, but he'll let me express myself even if he didn't agree, right. uh, which was cool. So that was cool because everybody needs somebody to vent to. Right, right exactly. Um, and he helped me with that. Yeah. That's cool. I think everybody needs that friend. So, what makes you different, or what do you think you would want um, when people think of you or see you? What do you want them? What do you want to differentiate yourself from, from others? others? That I'm authentic with how I feel for people. I have empathy and sympathy. Okay. I try to, um, and I'm just very authentic in how I act. Right. You like fake people. I try to be real in how I express myself, mm -hmm. um, and I'm a caring person. I try to reach out and elevate other people. Uh, and I'm funny, so <laughs> those things, I feel like I'm just a, a people's person. Right. Um, That's really important for a comedian, because you want to appeal to everyone. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so that was what I would say. Um, I'm a spiritual warrior, like I told spiritual you earlier. Spiritual warrior. I'm a spiritual warrior. You got a spiritual warrior pose? You know how they say they have the power poses? Oh, to, <laughs> no, I I got one of those. You, you do the <laughs> you practicing it. warrior um, and as a young man how do you overcome your struggles and battles now like you said um, that you talked to your friend Anthony is there anything else that you currently do uh, I used to pray but now I meditate I try to uh, calm right. myself in the meditation room. yeah I, I try to I try to calm myself mm -hmm. and just focus on what's in like my real problems like the stuff I struggle with right. I try to write it down I'm not gonna say I've gotten past every one of them, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you start off small, you get bigger. But I would say that mm -hmm. I'm trying to quiet myself, like my thinking, and just be calm and focus on like positive self talk. Yeah. So, you know, we always say we grind and we got our hustle or whatever. So, do you have like a particular person or just something or a specific goal that makes you grind every day that motivates you to grind every day? Um, I want to do. Uh, on my 28th birthday, I want to do a show at the Fox Theater. I want to do my really? own show and record it. Why 28? Because I give I give myself like five years. <laughs> um, I'm like, that's a random age. Yeah, 37. No, 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 no. I just I give myself five years, and that's when I was 22. No, shit, uh, 20, <laughs> 23 when I came with the goal. Um, and I want to give myself enough time to, uh, you know, create the following. I feel like that's enough to get 40,000 people to know who I am, right, kind of right. wise, and then just do a show. So that's my one goal I always shoot for, because I know that's that's reachable, it's attainable, it's five years. Right. So, you know how like Kevin Hart acts and he does all these other things, Is it would that be something you're interested in? Oh, yeah, I've done, right. I've done at least like 15 so far in college. I did five my senior year. Like plays and movies? Or movies. Really? Movies. What kind yeah. of movies? I've done... I was never the lead role. Of my first one was like, but it was trash. Oh. But I was always like the featured. What was the actor. lead role? It was like my roommate was baking cookies at like the weirdest times of the day. Something counts. It was weird. Uh, where was me just getting mad at for baking cookies at like How three in the morning? How did you get mad baking cookies? I, I, it's I didn't come up with the story. I just I just act. Um, but all the other ones was more like I was a DJ slash drug lord. Uh -oh. That was fun. That was fun. That um, sounds very entertaining. I was in like a, a weed smoker one time. <laughs> you got a weed smoker face? What? The, the face, you know how people smoke and then they got their face? No. <laughs> you know how people smoke and you can tell by like. She didn't tell on herself. No, when you go out in public and like you can smell because they loud and they got that face. Like, I smell loud. Out. No, but as an example. What 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 about me makes you think I I'm smell? I'm not saying you. I'm asking like, have you ever seen that? 
No, that was the first time I heard of that. <laughs> you got that weed smoking face. <laughs> Your grandma and your granddad told you that? <laughs> Yourself, loving yourself, something they don't teach you. You gotta learn it yourself, which it shouldn't be that way. Um, knowledge yourself is more so getting to know who you are, being in touch with like your intuition or your biggest God or your conscience, and listening to that voice in your head, right. and um, just really having the power to control your life, and more so instead of giving the power away to people, you take control and responsibility for your life and your actions. That's really important. Do you think that you were able to gain that knowledge yourself while you were in college? My last year, after I came yeah, out of the depression, is not it? After the depression. Because I, I learned that during it. helped me find my identity. It helped me find my identity. Yeah. And I feel like um, you, you feel connected to other people when you have knowledge of yourself, to animals, nature. You feel like it's the reason you do everything mm -hmm. you do. I feel like it gave me a purpose. I feel right. like my life was rejuvenated when I had the knowledge. Right, that's, I think that's really cool. So now that you've graduated and you, you're still working on it, your comedy career, mm -hmm. but like, what are you currently doing? I work for Apple. Um, and I, I help them with that over the phone service. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of that, I do shows. I do my own show, like the one we went to the other yep. day. Um, that's my second one. Uh, and then I do a bunch of gigs around Detroit and the greater Detroit area. Yeah. Just networking with the comics in Michigan and Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, and learning, like right now, I feel like I'm pretty solid as a comic, but you know, there's always room for growth. Exactly. And I want to learn to be more so of a comic, like a producer. Like, put uh -huh. my, I want to be more behind the scenes as well. Yeah. Uh, that's what I learned with this past show. It was pretty hectic, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. It came out good though. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. It was straight. It was I mean, so. overall, it was funny. I feel like, you know, you go to a comedy show to laugh. Everybody laughed. Yeah, everybody had funny. As long as you laughed a few times in the show, I think you're straight. So. Yeah. If people pay $10, honestly, I think people probably got about eight twenty five dollars worth. $8.25? But I'm not giving money back. But Of course. <laughs> It's too late for that anyway. Um, yeah, that's just how the show go. But yeah, like you said, it's always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's only your second show, so I bet you have more shows to go. Two more next semester, so I'm trying to do two a semester. Two a semester. At least you gotta go. Yeah, uh, location. It's a nice little spot. All the college kids come out and some people laugh. I'm excited. That's cool. Hopefully, I can do something in Detroit. Detroit a rough little place to be doing comedy. You get booed <laughs> off. Hurt your little Are spirit. Are you serious? I did not know that. Yeah, Detroit yeah, pretty tough. To I never got booed. I got swept off stage once. I heard How? Like some dudes in like a cow suit, like a costume, and he started dancing. And this other dude came with a broom and was sweeping me off. This was one of my first times. Uh, it was oh, rough. He's like, oh, he's this time rough. to go. They were playing the get off the stage music too. It was rough. Oh my goodness. So you have to have thick skin. You gotta develop it, yeah. Did you always do not? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's still hurt now, but it's not oh, as no. bad. You just it's part of the game. Well, you can't sleep now because you got your own show. Or you work That's hard. That's hard. You have to fall back on that, yeah. You gotta think positive. Look at you. <laughs> Spiritual warrior. Spiritual warriors. Since I call myself the Black Bell, um, something I always say at the end of my videos or whatever I post, I always say BYOB or bring your own beauty. So if well, that's right. Thank you. self empower. <laughs> so if there's something that you would have to bring or finish the sentence, bring your own, what do you think that would be? Bring your own. Um, uh, bring I was going to say understanding or self love. <laughs> uh, some text. Whatever you want. Authenticity. Yeah, what she said. Let's say you said that earlier. Yeah. That's what you want. Be to yourself. Bring about. yourself to the table. Bring, your, bring your own self. I like that. Yeah. It's different, way different from yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had time to think online. You didn't have that much. So I still like it. It goes good. But I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Appreciate you having me. That's hype. Hey. So thank you guys for listening and watching. Okay, so I want to do a straight face challenge. I just want to see if I can make you laugh. Oh, about, oh, okay. All right. Okay, so. You want to see somebody do this shit? Because <laughs> I'm terrible. Like, if you did it to me, I know I couldn't hold it. But 
You seem like you've got a lot of good straight face. That's your straight face right there. Okay. Knock knock. Who's that? Grilled cheese. The grilled cheese. <laughs> I grill you cheese. <laughs> Kick it with the food, 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 k